Today I'm going to be installing a Kohler semi-frameless sliding glass door. I start out by cutting the threshold to size, leaving room for the wall jams. Then I apply a bead of silicone to the bottom of the threshold inside the channel area and place the threshold on the tub near the outside edge. I align it to make sure there is a gap on either side. I make sure it is pressed down all over. The excess silicone is removed and then I tape it in place until the silicone cures. Then I mark the mounting locations for the wall jams and drill the holes through the porcelain tile using a diamond hole saw. The porcelain tile is difficult to drill through, which is good from a durability standpoint, but it makes insulation harder. Once I get the holes drilled, I insert plastic anchors into the tile. Then I apply some adhesive to the back of the wall jams near the top, where it will go over the mosaic and where I don't have mounting holes. And I set the wall jam in place, screw it to the wall, and tape the top. There are cleats that are placed on top of the wall jam and are secured to the wall. The cleats are what the header mounts to and are what hold the weight of the glass doors. I mark and drill two holes for each of the cleats, press in the anchors, and screw them in place. Next I cut the header to length, slide on the bumpers, and install it on the cleats by rotating it in place. The header needs to be cut short enough to allow for the screw heads of the cleats, but not too short. Then I drill holes through the cleat holes and through the first section of the header. These holes will be used for self-tapping screws to secure the header to the cleats. Once the header is installed, I install the wall jam covers. They are installed by pushing until they click in place. Then I install the threshold seal and trim it to length. Now I'm going to install the rollers on the glass and hang the glass doors on the header. The header has two tracks, a lower and upper track. The inside door swings into place on the lower track. The outside door sits on the top track and it has hold down clips and needs to be installed in the right spot. Then I swing in, position and tighten down the center guide. Now it's time to install the handles. The handles have decorative screws that tighten using holes on the side. The rollers have a cam mechanism for adjusting the glass doors. Then I install the decorative caps and the installation is complete. This sliding glass door assembly will have bumpers on the top and bottom to prevent the doors from sliding into the tile. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and take it easy.